The Russian Defense Ministry on Tuesday released video of what it said were some of its troops returning to base after exercises near Ukraine, leading some to hope the drums of war might be fading. But U.S. President Joe Biden responded that Washington had not yet verified the demobilization and said Russia still very much posed a threat. We have not yet verified the Russian military units are returning to their home bases. Indeed, our analysts indicate that they remain very much in a threatening position. And the fact remains, right now, Russia has more than 150,000 troops encircling Ukraine and Belarus and along Ukraine's border. Russia did not say how many units were pulling back. Its deployment of some 130,000 troops to the north, east, and south of Ukraine triggered alarms in western capitals that a military operation could be imminent. Russian President Vladimir Putin, who met with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on Tuesday, denied again his country sought conflict. Do we want it or not? Of course not. This is why we have offered our proposals to start the negotiation process, which should lead to an agreement of providing equal security for everybody, including our country. Speaking from the White House, Biden said he was committed to finding a diplomatic solution to the crisis, but he warned the Russian people that military aggression in Ukraine would be bloody, costly, and would be met with international condemnation. The world will not forget that Russia chose needless death and destruction. While Biden said he would not commit U.S. forces to fight in Ukraine in the event of a Russian attack, he said the U.S. would defend, quote, every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. U.S. troops have already begun reinforcing NATO allies Poland and Romania.